Um, this was wrong in terms of the font size. The M is that, Arial 12 and a half. Um, I made additional corrections to one, six, the timing, and the fast idle. So this was four at eight hundred, and the LM label is no eight at eight hundred, eight at four hundred. The LM label is eight at six hundred. The LK label is six at three fifty. The LM label is four at eight at eight hundred. Fast idle. The L. A label is 1300, 1300, the LM label is 1500, and the LK is 1350, and the LM is also 1350. So there were more changes that needed to happen. Um, so number one, the L LK a label said remove fuel tank gas cap and the LM label disconnect fuel tank hose from vapor canister two three four and five are the same the LK label reconnect distributor vacuum hose and replace fuel tank gas cap and then the LM label reconnect distributor vacuum hose and ref vacuum hose and fuel tank hose. So I made those changes. The font is the same. I just backspaced it back and just typed the new wording. That unfortunately couldn't happen up here with the M. I had to find a font that would work. I couldn't just backspace it. I had to, I don't know what it was. It was whatever the program chose for it, but I ended up going with Arial for the M. Down here, um, I changed the, the LK label is 1008, and I changed it to 1010, and I just backspaced it and used the same font. And I'll compare my label to commercially available label. My label is I would say dimensionally and visually representative of the original label that came on the car versus this aftermarket variant. No idea what this is all about. Did not put this on my car. I mean, it's a different part number. I mean, it's not from my car, but they do sell labels like this with you know, a different part number that look like this. This is correct for my car. Same with the emission label. I mean, there's so many things on so many levels that are just the 
sloppy, I would say. I mean, they had an opportunity to really nail this, and they just did a really sloppy job. Uh, so I think I'm going to repaint this panel. I've kind of been wishy-washy about it. Um, I don't like this dent. So I sanded down the top cover a little bit with the... I used a stripper, paint stripper. Here's the cover with a coat of primer on it. So the little dent that was over here is gone. So it came out really nice, really bitchin'. I'm happy with it for a rattle can. Um, I'm satisfied. Uh, the next big challenge is going to be getting the stickers where I want them. Uh, so I started off by removing the dent that was right there. It was like a weird screwdriver dent. Like somebody had taken a screwdriver and just like gotten mad or something. And so it was in the shape of a screwdriver blade and it was across the little ridge right there. It's kind of in a bad place. So I worked that dent out. Uh, and I just slowly tapped on it with the... I got the anvil and one of my chisels. And I slowly just tapped it. And I sanded it. So here they are in their finished state. They are as representative of the originals as I could get them. In terms of alignment, font, size, everything. And I think, I think they do that. I think they are representative of the originals. The LM label is attached and in place in all of its original looking glory. And also the engine cooling system label.